As your activity grows, one of the main problems that you can have is to spend too much time on call with potential clients and it can be frustrating because finally you spend a lot of time on calls and finally you discover that a majority of your clients don't have the budget to fit with your expectative. Here's a little setup to end up all these calls and filter all these potential clients and also have the possibility to raise your price. In my process, like a lot of people, I'm using Calendly. If you are not familiar with Calendly, it's a scheduling tool that allows us to share your availability easily with clients and prospects. You can create a Calendly link that you set up and once it's done, you share in your website, on your emails, and even on your social network. And when someone click on your link, he can see your availability and book a call with you easily. And one of the best things with Calendly is to set up some questions for your clients before you can book a call. And this is super useful. This is a great way to get all the information you need to know if it's a good client, if there is no red flag, or if it's a good fit with all your expectative. To set up a question, go to your Calendly dashboard and click on Edit. Then click on Invite a question. From here, you can add as many questions as you want. You can ask about things like budget, project scope, and timeline. Personally, I have three important questions that help me with that. And the first one is when you will be available to start the project. This is really important because it allows you to see first if it fits with your calendar, but also to see which kind of client is it. Because generally, a client would choose as soon as possible. It's already a red flag. I don't discard a client because of that, but it shows that this client maybe don't respect a lot uh, this collaboration and the people we work with. But generally, a client would choose the option in the next months. I can see that it's more mature client. And in my case, every time a client chooses this option, it's a really great fit because it's someone who respects me and that is mature. And this is super important. The question number two is when you want to finish this project. This question is a little bit tricky because it's for sure to a client that I'm not working in a rush. Showing to a client that the first option you have is in three months really show him that we take our time at the studio to do the things well and that we create high-end design and with specific and unique uh, conception and, uh, and a way to, to, to build, to, to create something really unique for a client and that we dedicate time to think and to and also to process. And just with this option, he can understand that. And from my experience, Finally, when you do a website, a classic website of five page, finally it end up to to be three months generally. So that's why I put this option. Of course, not for one page, but for five page, it's generally the time it takes between the strategy, the design, having all the assets, uh, client validation, and go to the Webflow development phase, finalize the website, publish it, it generally takes three months, that's why. It's also or to filter clients that are really in the rush or to show to client, okay, this is what it's gonna take to build a website. So this is really a great way to filter clients that you don't want because a client will really need to publish a website right now. He's not gonna book a call with you. So this is a good thing. In my case, depend of what is your way to select the clients. It's to you to set up this, of course. And the last question and the most important, what budget have you planned for this project? This is the question that we all want to know and of course is the most important. And for this I have four options, between 10 and 30k, between 30 and 50k, between 50 and 100k, and more than 100k. Spoiler, for the moment no one chooses the option more than 100k. But setting the first range of price of 10 to 30k, it showed to the clients that don't, don't have budget, like 1K, 2K, 5K, that they don't enter in our range price and they like that they will not book a call with you and make you waste time. And that's why it's super important. Just by this question, you can filter and reduce drastically the number of calls that you have per week and spend in other things, you know, this is really important. And also it cut the probability to have a call with a client that, okay, it's super cool, the project is cool, but there is no budget, and finally you accept because the guy is cool, and finally end up that 
the project is a shit because of course there is no budget so there is no budget for assets or there is a, I mean there is always something so it's also cut this probability to accept a project that can turn into a nightmare so it's important to set up this question so to conclude this video, to set up your Calendly and set up all these questions is really important because it's going to help you to reduce the number of calls per week. Focusing on what you love, producing, taking care of your team or create more content like I'm doing right now. And because finally, if you before that, before I set up all these calls, I have an average of calls per week of four or five calls per week. It's 30 minutes call, so it's finally two, three, sometimes four hours that you lost during your week. And finally, four hours during a week, it's you can spend four hours designing something or creating something or taking care of your team or even other stuff. It's a lot. Four hours is really a lot. Or spend time with your family. So this is small details that are really important and set up your Calendly allow us to find the perfect fit for you and discard all the red flag. And this is really a good thing for you. Even psychologically, the fact to know that you're gonna have a call with someone that already fit with your expectative, it gives you a lot of energy to close this deal. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, drop it in the comment below. If you like also the video and want to see the next one, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and see you next time. Bye.